Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. In this video, we'll show you four cloud gaming services that you can use over your Samsung Deck setup. These four cloud gaming services are Stadia, GeForce Now, Xbox Game Pass, and Shadow PC. And before jumping into demonstrating them for you, let me go over exactly what I'm gonna use for this setup. I'm gonna use Galaxy Tab S6 for my Samsung Dex device. And the reason being is the, so for some reason my Note 9 have a very flaky 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection with my home uh, network. So I'm going to use Galaxy Tab S6 because it has much more stable connection. Obviously, the stable con broadband connection is required when you want to use your cloud gaming services at the best experience or get the best experience of, from them. Standard USB-C to USB-C cable to connect that Galaxy Tab S6 to this NextDoc 2 touchscreen lab dock. The, some of the services support keyboard and mouse inputs, some of them don't. The, the services, game, cloud gaming services that will support keyboard and mouse inputs, I'm going to use the MX Master Bluetooth uh, mouse by Logitech. And obviously the NextDoc 2 layer touchscreen version, the keyboard to control the games and some of the services. And the others that supports only control controller inputs, I'm going to use Microsoft Xbox One. Uh, Bluetooth controller for them. So first, let me get everything connected. The first one that we're going to try out is Stadia. And Stadia um, is one of these cloud gaming services that only supports control inputs. You can't use keyboard and mouse with your gaming. And in this video, I will demonstrate the how this is performing using Destiny 2 game. So we're just going to click or tap on the screen to play. I'm going to connect the Xbox One controller. And while everything is loading, this a uh, couple of information about the Stadia. Uh, Stadia gives you two price plans, free and the pro version. Free pro version obviously will cost you, sorry, the free version, not free pro version. The free version will be for free, but you're going to have to pay the, uh, buy the games from the store at the, the release price. So it's not going to be um, the cheapest. So you're not going to get the discounts, anything like that. So you're going to buy the game from the store and you can play them on your Stadia account. The Stadia Pro version will be for £8.99 a month. will give you access to a huge discounts on the games and other games you can claim them to be linked to your account and then you can play them as long as Google will keep the Stadia alive, basically. So right now I'm loading Destiny 2. Let's connect to this. Uh, so I hope I'm not, you're not gonna see uh, or I'm not gonna get any flaky connections. So far everything looks okay. So I'm just quickly gonna jump uh, into the uh, quest. I'm using the uh, controller to navigate through, through all this um, interactive menu, going into this, clicking launch, and I'm just gonna connect into one of the um, missions that I need to complete. The one thing that with the Stadia, when you're playing the game, I have a, a, a new account created on here called the Mr. P, and it's basically linked to my Stadia account. I don't think I have an option to move my save across to, uh, let's say, uh, Destiny 2 Steam version. I don't think that's possible. I, to be honest, I never tried it. Um, so uh, there's, there's, by the time you're watching this video, there might be an option for you to transfer your safe file from Steam Stadia 2, Steam Destiny 2 version to a Stadia, or you're just gonna be stuck with this. We are inside the, um, inside the mission, and I need just to go and try to uh, complete this mission. Somebody's. The, co the quality of the stream is slightly worse than I expected. It's probably because uh, something is, uh, some device downloading the uh, update in, from my home network. So that could be the reason why. But uh, when it's uh, the stable connection, I, I get the stable connection with my home broadband. I'm not getting any artifacts, any any problems with the with the streaming. I'm getting quite decent gameplay, to be honest. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's dead. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Last one left. He's got a shield. Come on. This quality that, that you're seeing right now, what I'm playing is at 1920 by 1080 p resolution and it's plenty for me to enjoy the game. I'm not aiming to get somehow a 4K resolution at 60 FPS, nothing like that. I'm just, as long as I can enjoy the game, 
it's fine by me to play even on a 1920 by 1080 p resolution especially when the majority of you dex users probably going to use 1920 by 1080 p resolution with your dex setup so this is a, a very let's say a playable option or playable setup so this is stadia next one let's jump into xbox game pass so i'm going to quickly um, minimize this and let's start xbox game pass xbox game pass is by microsoft and where they there is a, a free different price tiers you can buy i think it's called the xbox game pass beginning or boost or something like that but basically out of free pricing plans you need to pick the xbox ultimate or game pass ultimate that's the one allows you to stream games to your mobile devices in this case it's going to be samsung dex and the price will start at one pound here in UK, but after a month, the next month will be 10.99, and month after that will be 10.99. So as a beginning, as a joining, as a trial version, it's gonna be one pound. For that price, it's a bit too expensive compared to Stadia. Stadia is 8.99, and Xbox Game Pass is 10.99, but 10.99, and you will get much more games to pick from, and there is, it's much more variety. And especially after just recently, Microsoft purchased the Zenimax, I believe that's the company's name, who's a parent company of Bethesda and Ada and others. Right now, they're converting the transfer, transporting games from Bethesda into the Xbox Game Pass. That's why I can play Doom Eternal on my setup. So we're just gonna tap on the Doom Eternal. I will use Control again because Xbox Game Pass do not support keyboard and mouse inputs on a Samsung DeX. Stadia wasn't supporting that. Maybe these two, these two um, cloud gaming services eventually will support mouse and keyboard input while you're streaming games to your Android device. But at the moment, it's, it's not supported, so I'm going to use the Xbox One controller. The loading time right now is happening, the loading time on the Game Pass, and loading time between, so far, Stadia and Xbox Game Pass. Sometimes it's exactly the same. Sometimes Stadia takes the lead and loads the games quicker. So it's all the better. If you're very picky waiting for game to load very fast, Stadia would be a, probably the better option. But for me, who don't mind wait for a couple of minutes or so for game to load, I, I, I'm fine waiting for this half a minute or so for game to load. To play Doom on an Xbox Game Pass, I had to link the Xbox Game Pass account to Bethesda.net account. So this is one of the things that you will have to do as a setup. By the way, quality of what you're seeing on a screen might look a bit rubbish-ish because I am streaming everything and same time I'm screen recording the decks. So hopefully you will get, you will still get a better picture. So loading time begins. Uh, I am somewhere in, so I've done a bit of gaming of this already. So we're just gonna carry on the gaming. I'm very bad at this game. <laughs> I, I keep dying in one place. Uh, or I always keep dying at one place so far. I somehow I managed to pass through. But this is not me trying to show you how I'm good, how good I am. Actually, that's where I was dying. And I'm starting exactly at this place. Okay. So we need. Okay. There's a, a spider looking creature here which keeps killing me. And I'm always dying because of this freaking thing. Which is this. I'm gonna lure him in into a into the shop. And that's where I managed to kill him last time. Because I was keep dying like crazy. Oh no, he's inside. <laughs> anyway, he's dead. Let's get some ammo here. No one else? I'm not sure how, but I managed to go past this mission without dying. I was keep dying by, by this spider looking creature every time I was testing. So, uh, so far, as you can see, the inputs, I, uh, I'm not getting in the line with the inputs. I'm enjoying the game. It's not 
4K or anything like that. It probably runs at 60 FPS, to be honest. But again, I'm playing on the 1920 by 1080p monitor, and that's the majority of you probably gonna use for your deck setup. So it's very, you see, very, very, very good uh, setup, and very good service for you to pick it up. And there's so many games you can play using uh, Xbox Game Pass. There's hundreds of them. I'm playing Doom at the moment a bit. Uh, then I'm playing the uh, Forza Horizon 4. Forza Horizon 4, and I'm planning to start having a couple of minutes blasting of other games. Come on! Try. Here we go. So that was Doom Eternal on the Xbox Game Pass. To quit the game, I just need to tap on the screen on the top left hand corner press quit and quit the game it's gonna ask me how good it was uh i click bad that's so you basically mark it yes good or bad performance the next one on my list is a geforce now geforce now is by nvidia and the, the geforce now has uh, two pricing plans there is a free version and there is a paid version free version will uh, give you access to your steam library that is supported by geforce now for free but you have limit of one hour gameplay and the paid version is 499 currently and this gives you access to your Steam library and that is supported in GeForce Now up to six hours of gameplay. So if I'm gonna jump in into GeForce Now, but this time I'm gonna use keyboard and mouse because this is one of the cloud gaming services that do support keyboard and mouse inputs. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I do have a paid version. That's why I'm jumping in straight away into the loading game. When you're trying to play using a free version, you will have to wait somewhere between a minute to up to 10 minutes before a new gaming rig is available inside the NVIDIA servers for you to go and start playing. And like I said, on free version, you get only one hour of game time where on a paid version you get up to six hours of playing game time, which even one hour when I was trying this for about for free, one hour was plenty for me just to jump in, do a bit of gaming and that's fine. One hour was plenty for me to enjoy. So right now we're waiting for um, Steam Big Picture to load. Sometimes it's gonna crash, sometimes it's gonna work fine. It all depends, sometimes it's a bit flaky like right now. For some reason this Destiny just decided to crash on the servers and as far as I know, um, GeForce now has the Windows based servers, Stadia has Linux based servers, um, the Xbox One or uh, Xbox Game Pass probably has a thousand Xbox Ones connected into one big rig and that's how it's all playing. Um, I'm just going to quickly we'll close that and we're going to open GeForce now again and we're going to go into Destiny. So hopefully it's going to run this time. Like I said, sometimes it crashes. I had no crashes with Stadia. I'm getting once in a while crash with Xbox Game Pass because it's just sometimes I just get a message saying, oh, stream had a problem, your connection, something, something, and just stops. With GeForce Now, I'm getting crashes a bit more often compared to the previous ones. It just, I don't know why, but it just, it just happens. So, come on. So we are, we go in a library, we go into Destiny 2, as you can see right now, it says message launching. So that's what's happening when you start the game it connects you to this virtual it looks like a windows machine probably i'm not sure if it's actually windows or linux and it while you're connecting to this it starts and go it starts the game for you already so after a couple of seconds or so waiting without clicking anywhere the game should start loading and as you can see a message popped up saying the steam community access so it's connected to a steam so if you have uh, this game some game tasks, game some hours already spent on this game, you will log into GeForce now and you will have that same save to be played. So it's just a bit, it's a winning thing. So if let's say you have a gaming computer and it's just died and there is a game that supports inside GeForce now, paying $4.99 a month, will give you access to this game on any device. So I'm right now using obviously Samsung Dex. But you can use uh, you can use a Windows machine, low end, low spec Windows machine to play this. You can play on a phone. I'm not sure if you can play on an iPhone because Apple is very picky with the cloud gaming services right now. So loading, we're going into uh, Destiny 2, and here we go. This is my account, uh, Mr. P, which I played quite a while ago on the gaming PC. Then I moved to uh, GeForce Now, and as you can see, I'm going for quests. I'm using my mouse to interact with the with the um, the game so we're just gonna quickly jump into this mission uh, so launch and inputs uh, input lags with the mouse or keyboard uh, basically almost none 
Oh, well, I can't see any input lags because if something is in my eye. The, the quality of the stream, I'm getting, there is obviously the times when a quality just drops down and I get pixels and all over the place. But overall, the quality of the streaming is almost as I'm playing on a physical gaming PC, which is literally next to me. So uh, no complaints with that. So we, low, we are landing on the planet and we're going to do a bit of gaming. So for £4.99 pence a month, uh, this is probably the best option. It's not all the game supported. The game library is lower compared to Xbox One or Xbox Game Pass, but it's a bit bigger than Stadia. So where are we going? Sorry guys, where are, where are we going? We're going here? I can't remember the... Alright, we're going here, fantastic. I can't remember the button to uh, get this glider on. Or this spaceship motorcycle thing. Oh. So we're just gonna run there. Okay, we're going here. Come on, come on, come on. Right. What's happening? So we start the fight. And streaming quality is better than Stadia. But it's, it's, I'm not saying that it's better than Stadia overall. It's just probably my broadband speed was a bit flaky that time when I was trying to play it on uh, this game from Stadia. But on GeForce Now, as you can see, I am basically playing. And this feels exactly like I would play on the physical gaming PC. So that's how good the quality is. And like I said, 4 99 5 pounds a month. When you think that how much you're gonna spend on the gaming PC, 1,000, 1,500 pounds, 2,000 pounds on the gaming PC, where only five pounds a month will give you access to probably one of the best gaming PCs out there through the your home broadband. And uh, everything is, is gonna work fine. One thing I forgot to mention, my home broadband is download speed at 60, between 50 and 60 megabits per second, and upload speed around 20. So um, you need to um, obviously have a decent broadband speed if you wanna enjoy the gameplay. So far, I haven't noticed any dips in the performance, any lag, any artifacts, nothing happening. And it works perfectly. So we're just gonna close this. Click uh, exit to a desktop. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna shut down the game and shut down the connection to a big, scene big picture mode and you're back into this picking option. Once you have an account and you link your Steam account to a GeForce Now, it's gonna sync all the games that you own on Steam and that are supported in GeForce Now will be presented in one place. And the last one is that I wanna show you a Shadow PC, which is my most favorite one. And it is most expensive one out of four of them. Shadow PC uh, for $12.99, you will get a, a virtual Windows machine, the most powerful Windows 10 machine. And for $12.99, you will get access to 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage running a GeForce GTX, some sort of the graphics card I can remember right now. And when you, you get your account activated, you will get access to this virtual Windows 10 machine where you can not only game as a Dex, but you can work as a Dex user. So you're using some, you're working some bits or you're doing something with the Dex but it's just not enough powerful. You need a Windows 10 machine. This is where Shadow PC comes in into play because it gives you option for you to, for you to have a Windows 10 machine, not only for gaming, but for rendering, for 3D graphics, anything else is just, everything is great. Obviously 256 gigabyte is not enough in today's age. So for extra three pounds a month on top of that, you will get extra 256 gigabytes of storage and you can upgrade that up to eight terabytes, I think of storage. So eight, terabytes how many it's like you're gonna probably spend like 60, 60 50 pounds on the on the on the storage alone but i'm happy with 256 gigabytes of storage because shadow pc gives you one gigabit of download speed so what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna go and do a destiny 2 first let's go into net for speed instead not sure why destiny 2 i think that i forgot to change the resolution it's a bit flaky so it might this things might happen but overall i'm shadow pc is my most favorite cloud gaming service because it's not only gives me cloud gaming service or cloud gaming machine but i can use the shadow pc 
for work as well, for video editing, for video rendering, for doing some bits in a blender. And I can use not Steam, I can use not only Steam, I can use Origin, Blizzard, I can use any out, out any game, I can install any game that it works on a shadow on the Windows machine, I can use on a shadow PC as well. And that's why I'm right now doing and um, demoing Need for Speed because with Steam you can have option to subscribe to EA Play as well for extra couple of pounds a month. And that gives you access to the uh, library of electronic arts games. That's why I picked up the um, Need for Speed Heat. So it's been added to my account and now I can play Need for Speed Heat and the other games on Steam. So we're gonna go in solo. As you can see, I'm controlling everything with the keyboard because Shadow PC is another cloud gaming service that supports keyboard and mouse inputs. Obviously it does support the controller as well if I want to, but if you're playing some shooting games and you feel more comfortable playing the game with keyboard and mouse, Shadow PC will allow you to do that. So let's wait for the game to load. I'm trying to wrap up this video because it's already over 25 minutes length. Come on, come on, come on. So we're loading, loading, loading. Here we go. So first of all, I'm gra we'll grab a controller. Hey, well, I'm hitting up my contacts. You can get yourself down to the keys. There's a gas So here we go. Way. I'm using a controller to drive with this Mustang. And I'm not going to go in and race or anything because I'm just like trying to wrap up this video quite quick. But as you can see, it's, it's basically, I'm, I'm playing with the controller. Graphics, performance, there is sometimes a, a dip in the performance and I'm getting a bit of pixelate, pixelated uh, uh, problems, but overall uh, it's, it's nearly the same or slightly better compared to GeForce Now, but it's, it's miles ahead what stayed here and Xbox Game Pass allows, gives me because the Xbox Game Pass and stay there gives me more time flaky connection, if that makes sense, compared to Shadow PC or GeForce Now. So I, let's say I had enough of playing on controller, I can jump and I'm gonna start using the keyboard instead. So if you play games like, I don't know, Witcher 3 or something, you feel more comfortable with controller, fine, Shadow PC will support that. If you feel more comfortable playing with keyboard and mouse, fine as well, Shadow PC will support that. And overall, Shadow PC, I probably mentioned already, is my most favorite cloud gaming service. And I would say the must cloud gaming services that you need to try if you are Samsung Dex user. So I'm just gonna try to make this jump, but we'll probably gonna fail. Yes, fail. Four cloud gaming services, Stadia, Xbox Game Pass, GeForce Now or Shadow PC. If I, I would put them into the order which I like the most, number one will be Shadow PC because it's not only gives me a cloud gaming machine, but Windows 10 machine as well. So for Dex user, I can do not only game, but work and create videos and edit this video, for example. Thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.